Greetings. The Bible says, I will bless the Lord at all times and his praise will continually be in my mouth. And today is another day where we can just bless the Lord and let his praise be in our mouths all the time, no matter what we're going through. Thank you for giving us this opportunity to come to you and share the word of God with you and pray with you and believe God to do wonderful things in your life. And God is truly at work in you, for you, through you, and on your behalf, in your situations. We're talking about living worry-free this week, and we're following God's instructions on what He told us to do so that we could walk in perfect peace and be free from worry. Another important thing uh, that we see in Scripture, having discussed some things that we've talked about, unburdening through prayer. We've talked about keeping our mind on Him. Another important thing we see in Scripture is that we need to fix our thoughts on His Word. In Psalm 119, and that's a very long psalm, as a psalmist is just uh, uh, expressing his love and his delight in the, in the Word of God, we also see many, many practical things that he's doing in order to let the Word of God uh, work in his life. And uh, in all of that, he says, we see very interestingly that when there are people speaking about to him and against him, he occupies his mind with the Word of God. I'll just bring out two of these verses. This is in Psalm 119, verse 23 and verse 25. He says, Princes also sit and speak against me, but your servant meditates on your statutes. Verse 25, he says, The wicked wait for me to destroy me, but I will consider your testimonies. So think about it. There are people who are sitting and, you know, people in authority who are sitting and speaking against him, obviously to do him harm or get rid of him in some way. But the psalmist says, God, while they're doing that, I am meditating on your word. I'm occupying my mind with your word. And then he also says there are people who are looking for opportunities to destroy him. They're looking for ways and whatever they can do to get rid of him. But he says, my mind, I'm just considering, um, I'm just focusing my mind on your word. And so you can imagine that in, in, in a situation where he should actually be so troubled, upset, worried, anxious, uh, disturbed, he's at peace. He's not worried. Why? Because he's meditating. He is considering, he is occupying his mind with the Word of God. He's fixing his mind on what God has said. So here's another secret to live very free. While there are all these things that come against us, maybe people are doing things against us, or sometimes it's just the, you know, the course of events. You know, you know, for example, in your workplace, your managers, your boss may have to make decisions for various reasons, and they may be laying off many people. But in the midst of all that, what should you and I do? Meditate on His Word. Focus your mind on the promises of God, on the Word of God. My God is with me. My God will never leave me, never forsake me. He will make a way for me. You focus your mind on the Word. You can live worry-free. Do it today. And so being disturbed by situations, meditate on His Word. Let's pray. Father, we ask that You'll help us. Put our mind on Your Word so that we can walk free from worry. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.